the mothers and their their son, done in a Russian accent. After giving birth to a baby boy, Liberty has fears about taking care of a boy. Applejack glared to calm her. Yes, this is a rather Jack fic, even though I don't normal ship those two. Every minor, ratted teen or high, every one more PG, for beef mention of sperm and lady parts. Nothing gratuitous or vulgar. Ponies who star in story are Applejack and Larity. Story with 1,021 words. It was 2 a.m. on a cold Tuesday in November. People were asleep in their beds with no excitement and joy, but not two women at the hospital, for they had done what most women of two rarely ever did, create life. One mother was a beautiful lady who usually was wearing fine makeup and her hair done. She, sweaty and with messy hair, was holding a small boy in her dainty soft hands. Next to her, an average farm woman sat. She would be asleep and waking up in two hours to help her family on a normal day. But today, she was sitting next to her beautiful wife, staring at the small child with her smile, her hand wrapped around her wife. Things were quite fine until... I'm sorry, ma'am. I know you want to cuddle your son, but we have to take measurements and give him shots, said a nurse. Fine, said the mother, named Rarity. The nurse picked up the infant out of his mother's arms and took him away, leaving the two mothers to be alone in the heated, dark, yet lighted room. Wait... Wait. Uh, wait a minute. Heated, dark yet lighted room. Okay, I get it that it's hot, but how is it dark yet lighted? Is it, you mean dim? You mean dim, yes? Dark yet lighted room. What? Oh god, how am I gonna do southern Russian? I'm glad my brother donated. <laughs> Fuck it, said the other mother, Applejack. Yes, yes, Rarity said, biting her lip. Although I feel bad for Angie. Who? She really wanted a sister. Uh-huh, Rarity responded, obviously not paying any attention. Sugar Cube, what's wrong? You seem perturbed, AJ said lovingly. Oh, I am not, sweetie. I'm perfectly fine. Thank you very much. AJ could tell by her facial expression and her biting her fingers she was lying. No, you're not. I'm very honest, and I can tell when someone isn't. Tell me what's wrong. As your wife, I should know. Sounds like a Russian doing an American accent. Perfect. Well, Verity started with hesitation. It's fine, Sugar Cube. Now spit it out. Well, it's just that I don't know if we can take care of the new baby. Why? Applejack said in shock. Well, for one thing, there's no other man in the house. How is he going to be a boy without a dad? What do you mean? Look, there are things about boys that neither you nor I understand. I know nothing about your penis. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. I know nothing about penis. What peanuts know? Or what makes boys so messy? Not to mention there is no one for him to roughhouse with or teach him how to shave. Do you know how to shave aside from the legs? I mean, how will he, how will he life with three women in the house? How will he life with three women in the house? Wow, I have a feeling this was actually written by a Russian. Honey, there is always Big Mac and Spike to teach him that stuff, Applejack said, laughing. Yeah, well, what about his self-esteem or his strength? I mean, how can he survive in the world by being raised by women? He'll be a wimp, or pushover, and... We can't have that. He'll be too nice, and be a mama's boy. You're sounding like those homophobic people! <laughs> <laughs> oh, where are you going with this, dude? Applejack said, starting to stroke her hair soothingly. Look, sweetie, you don't need to worry about that. We can raise him. He will be a strong, kind boy with self-esteem. I guess, Liberty said as she looked up at AJ and grabbed her hand. There was a brief silence, and then Rarity said, Jackie, will he love me? 
Of course. What in darnation would make you think that? Well, because I've seen how boys become, and how they can be rude and selfish and hate their mothers. I couldn't my bear it if my boy is some rude, crude idiot who is a big bully to others. She started to tear up. A.J. sat on the bed with her and snuggled her. Sweetheart, don't think that. He's the son of two mothers. Why would he be like that? Well, because that's all I know about boys from what I've seen. I'm just worried that he'll be something I hate and I'll fail as a mother. Like all the boys I see on the TV. And all the boys I once knew. So I see other women and their boys and I see how dumb and stupid they acted. It makes me worry that he will be like that. Then she starts to bawl. Sweetie, it's going to be the fun. Think of the experiences you'll gain. And gosh darn it, any child of ours is going to be the kind and caring. We just have to raise him that way. Knowing you and I, I reckon, <laughs> I reckon that we can raise the most kindest boy. Besides, he's lucky to have two moms. That way, he will be easier to talk to women. We can do it. I know it, sweetie. Rarity started to cry even harder as Applejack comforted her. Soon there was a faint knock on the door. Oh, I should have taken him away from you, the nurse said as she handed the baby back to them. I'll leave you alone. Rarity looked at the baby and smiled. The child curled up close to her bosom and looked up at her with a cute sort of smile that Dewborns gave. Rarity gave a small smile back. Hello, precious, Rarity said, looking at the baby, her tears starting to dry. I am your mother, and I promise I shall take good care of you and give you a good childhood. All you have to do is pay me. All you have to do... All you have to do, you pay me, is to love me. Oh, what? All you have to do, you pay me, is to love me, okay? Okay, let's, okay, let's try that again. All you have to do, you pay me, is to love me, okay? The baby smiled and then grabbed her with his little fingers. I may not know much about babies, but I can tell by the way he's holding you that he's a snuggler, Applejack said. I love you, my sweet baby boy, she kissed his head. And I love you, my beautiful love, she kissed Applejack. I love you too, Rare Bear. The two mothers snuggled up with their new son and fell asleep as a family in the cold fall night. Holy fuck! <laughs> that was retarded.